All right, what's up, everybody? This is uh, Jim Shively, and what this video is about is about the automation software station playlist Studio Pro and how to do voice tracking and some different options you have. Uh, right now, we're not going to be playing the audio from it because you do not want to uh, break any copyright laws with YouTube. Uh, so what we're going to do is just start off by picking a song. You hover your mouse over it and select it. Then you right-click it and select Record Voice Track. Now, this is just if you're doing it in live mode like this. And uh, what it does is pull up here, and you have uh, different modes here. Uh, the reason why I have it in automatic is because on this track, under Intro, I've got it set, which I did in uh, Remote Voice Tracker, which is free. You can get it from the uh, Station Playlist website. And if you set it up to where it has access to your library, uh, then you are able to uh, set intro times. Uh, now, I'll get to that later, and I'll also show you another way you can do it in track properties. Uh, but right now, it looks like we have 11 seconds, 11 and a half seconds uh, of intro time before the vocals start. That's what that is for. So if you're doing it that way, you would just leave it on automatic. Uh, now, you have other forms here. You have manual outgoing, incoming, meaning uh, the outgoing will play. Uh, so let's say, let me move this out of the way. All right, we're back to Thin Lizzy. If we were listening to Blossom Toes before that, you would hear the tail end of it, and then you would hit start recording, and then the uh, you would hit it again to start the Thin Lizzy song so you could talk over the end of the last song and over the beginning of the next song. Uh, man manual outgoing only, uh, that's pretty obvious, that only works, and for some reason I'm not able to select that. Um, <laughs> huh, that's really weird. Um, on manual outgoing, if that was working correctly, I would be able to just talk over the end of that song. Uh, same for incoming only, that would be the beginning of this song, in which you would hear it. And you would have to set up your audio settings where um, it was separate, the music is separate from what you record. And there's also no overlap, which just puts your voice track right in the middle of these two. Uh, but doing automatic, you just uh, you know hit re start recording. All right, next up we got one from Thin Lizzy. This is a deep cut called "Cruising in the Lizzy Mobile." You know something. You know I'm not. I didn't put any station tags or anything because uh, this station is off the air. It says WBJR, but uh, we have been off air for just a little while now. And uh, if you don't like it, let's say if you, <clears throat> let's say if you coughed or stuttered in it and you messed up, you can always go down here and hit clear. Um, also, let's say if you're recording right now, you can go back and preview it and play it so, back. Let's say if you're recording right now, you see, and uh, you can clear that out. Uh, also, some other things you may want to look into. I'm doing this as Wave, but you do have options here. Um, there's shortcut keys. You also have uh, this checkbox to ignore the zero intro on incoming tracks. Uh, this is also where you want to set up your devices. This is the interface that I'm using. The uh, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, but the BR17. Uh, we do have a little bit of uh, uh, volume fade simulation. Um, this is set to 20 seconds for play outgoing track. I do use replay gain to kind of help up... Um, you know, when I'm talking quietly in the morning like I am right now, I'm recording this uh, while my girlfriend sleeps. Um, we do have music beds we can uh, pull up on here, and uh, as well as uh, your sample rate. I like to have it at 44100. My microphone device is set here. Um, we also uh, have the option of doing mono or stereo. Uh, your bit rate uh, is set right here, and... We also have different signal processors. I'm using Tomas's limiter. Uh, you also have other options there as well if you want to pause it and look at that. Look at that. Um, also, I uh, usually have this box checked. Um, we have uh, a Windows mixer here, which I've never really looked at. Oh yeah, that's kind of like your settings. So just to make sure everything's set up there. And once you're done fixing that up, you can close and save that. You also have a help box here if you need any help to uh, learn anything else. Um, so let's get back to tracks that do not have, uh, let's say, an intro time. Uh, so like um, if we have uh, track properties pulled up here, Ven Venus and Furs does not have an intro time. And um, this is where you can, 
update your track info, your metadata, so to speak, uh, like if you're using Live 365 to broadcast on, you will make sure that all your tracks are up to date here. Uh, date is wrong there. Uh, you have your categor categorization there uh, and timing. This is your intro time right here. Uh, and you can actually manually set it by just double clicking on the track well, I can't at the moment. Let's see. You go back here and you double. And now I'm going to stop it early because we don't want to break any copyright laws. But uh, once you learn how many seconds, you'll see it on the counter on the player. Uh, you can go back to track properties and go to your timing tab and set it here on the intro time. How many seconds? Uh, right now I'm going to put it back to zero because I will set that later. And that is your basics on how to uh, voice track just in live mode on Station Playlist Studio Pro. Now, if you have Station Playlist Creator, now this is the way I like to do it. Uh, I like to create a playlist, which I have not done because the station is off air and I'm just pulling up this uh, automation software for educational purposes only. Um, it, and it looks like uh, sometimes you have those kind of errors. Huh. It looks like down down to Goblin Town is messed up. Okay, well, I'll have to go back and look at that later. Um, but let's say if you want to uh, voice track for this hour, you go to Editor, Playlist Editor, and you want to hit the Now button to take you to where it's playing now, and you just find where you're at here. So you've got Blossom Toes, Thin Lizzy. Thin Lizzy still hasn't, well, it's going to play in 15 seconds, so let's go ahead and pick uh, Nobody by Freedom. Uh, same way you would do on here, you would just uh, you can either you know hit record up here. That's that's one way to pull it up, or you can uh, use your right click and select record voice track, which is how I normally do it. Everything else is basically the same. You still have the same options, uh, so there's no need to really explain all that again. Um, one thing I did wonder if I have an option of fixing again. Uh, I don't see the option to change it to waves. I think that might be up in the options here, but that, that'll be another video. Uh, so basically, you know, to recreate this, you just go to Editor Pro, um, last one, Editor, and that's where you can record your voice tracks. So um, that being said, there's also one other way you can record voice tracks. Uh, this is right here with VT Editor, Remote VT, and I've already got it set up to uh, connect, and there's uh, plenty of videos on how to do that, but you want to pick your latest log, the one you just made, and let that load up, and let's say, all right, so Thin, Thin Lizzy is playing right now, so this is where we're at. Um, so back to that song, Venus and Furs. Now on Remote VT Editor, you have something called timing tool and there you can play and set it you can set it right there which that's not where I would uh, do it at but like I said we can only play but a second of it to uh, avoid the copyright issues so you know theoretically you would play it and right before like you know let's say Lou Reed starts singing you hit set and let's say hey, you want to go back a little bit. You can actually minus back, you know, go back manually and then test it once again to see how it sounds. You can also uh, do the same thing uh, by playing it and then jump to the end, move back a little bit and set an outro. So that's uh, voice tracking. It's really easy. It sounds great when you set it up automatically, especially when you set up your intro points. You can do it automatically. I mean, not automatically, manually. Uh, but if you take the time to slowly start adding intro times to all of your songs. You will have a seamless uh, intro when you talk and introduce the song. So uh, hopefully this is very uh, helpful to all of you radio DJs out there. I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording. Uh, and uh, be sure and like and subscribe my channel. And, uh, you know, if you got any uh, questions, please put them in the comments. I would be happy to address anything you'd like to know about this uh, software uh, to the best of my knowledge and uh, thank you for watching.